Welcome back to my channel so we are actually in a bit of a rush but i didn't start the vlog so i wanted to come start the vlog and y'all see my sis is poking today or whatever y'all see the vibes so right now i'm at my aunt tanya's house i banged my nail in the elevator and it hurts but um today well yesterday my firstborn tatum tay tay little t y'all remember little t right um <laughs> So yeah, yesterday, Lil Tay Tay turned six months and his real mother, his biological mother, okay? Um, she's so extra, she wanted to throw him a six months birthday party. So that's what's going on today, but she also has a photo shoot, a six months photo shoot before the party. It's 11.51, the photo shoot is at 12.30. She still gotta go get him. The photo shoot is 20 minutes from here. How far is Tay Tay from here? He's like 15 minutes. Ah, uh, we shouldn't be that late, y'all. But y'all know I had to tag along for the ride because I, I could have still been home. I didn't. The party don't start till four o'clock. I could have stood at Alicia's house and just showed up at the party. But I was like, that's something for me to vlog, so I'm coming. I'm taking a peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna icy too for real, but. I see my milk. I can wait for this to thaw out and get an icy in the meantime. Hmm. Are these French toast sticks? I wanted French toast. I was thinking about French toast in the last vlog when my boyfriend had mentioned that Sonic sells French toast sticks. That's what I was just thinking about. They're French toast sticks. You said these was nasty. No, I didn't say that. No. Strawberry, raspberry, blueberry. I think I want strawberry. I hate ices like this because you can't never really tell what you want. Yeah, I think these ones is the strawberry one. We just in here, okay? So I want Cool Ranch or Nacho Cheese. Because the light is all over here. So I want Cool Ranch or Nacho Cheese, y'all. I'm leaning towards Cool Ranch because I'm about to take these Cheetos too. And y'all know Cheetos is already cheesy, so like. Oh yeah, it's time for me to go, y'all. Y'all, so shout out to me and my good judgment because this is definitely the strawberry one. As far as my camera, because y'all probably wonder, <laughs> is it okay? Um, it's fine, but like, my screen pushes up a little more than it used to, but it's okay. Y'all, this lady is crazy. She's literally driving backwards. Like, we done made turns and all that. I wish I pulled out the camera to show you why she's driving backwards because it was like a little truck intercept and they was blocking the thing, but like, backwards, sis? Backwards? <laughs> we where we need to be. <laughs> I'm crying. Well, luckily, I guess nobody was coming through. Well, yeah. we're here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Candace got four door silver, huh? So, so you want you me him first or him first? You want him first. Good. <laughs> this is like the little grand finale like type of thing. Say say. This his shirt or yours? Yours. That's mine. His shirt should be in there. Yeah, his shirt. Fat, fat. No, I told Tracy Look I would be there fat, fat. by 3.30 to pick them up. Oh, Monday. 
guys so we just stopped by my grandfather's house because my aunt switched cars with him because his has a lot more space for all the stuff that she needs to get for Tay Tay. Lil T he back there his birthday party um I don't know how much my camera like I literally probably only had it charging for like 30 minutes so I'm hoping this is enough to get me through the day so what, what are we about to do act like this your vlog talk to them Talk to my people and tell them what we about to do. We are about to go to Target and then we gotta get a helium tank so we can make the balloons and then we're going to the mall because I gotta drop off some money to somebody and then we're gonna go set up for the party. <laughs> you heard it here first ladies and gents so I'll be back when things get interesting. We are in Sam's Club right now trying to get cupcakes. I've been meaning to show y'all y'all so my aunt she had the same lady that made her baby shower cake which if y'all watch the vlog baby shower cake mad nice and it tasted mad good too she had her make tatum six month cake too and what she asked for versus what she got y'all that's something that should have been on the shade room i'm gonna show you i told her i was like dm it to the shade room so they could post it because that that was a hot mess so last minute like the lady sent her what the cake looked like yesterday and the party is today so you know last minute we had to find something so we in sam's club to see what they cupcakes looking like what they hitting for here we go <laughs> Yo. should i get two three six nine twelve fifteen thirty yeah i eat cupcakes there ain't nobody else gonna eat them I'm go yeah go ahead introduce yourself so my name is kobe and she's my aunt <laughs> So we're just in the store right now. We in the store. We outside. Look at little Tay Tay, y'all. 
He was sleeping. Did you get him in his outfit? Yeah. Oh wait, can I get him in his outfit or did I? Like did the photo he? shoot outfit. Yeah. He took yeah. pictures. He took pictures today. Yeah, he did. Y'all, I, I feel like I say this in every vlog. Let me show y'all. Ooh, my thing all flip. I feel like I say this in every vlog, y'all. How black people just never on time. It never fails, it never fails. Um, but yeah, it's like five o'clock now. Party was supposed to start at four. Like she told everybody that it started at four, but you know, you gotta tell people. You you supposed to tell people a, a earlier time than it really start because people gonna be late anyways. But the fact that it, it's her party and she was late, that's a problem. My screen all dirty but also the fact that we told well she told people four and it is now five and ain't nobody here but the setup crew that's also a problem too but i mean it'll make no difference say hi mommy anna the setup crew just got here so i was telling them So y'all see my little cake table set up, all right? Book me for all of your events. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> so I just got these little four gift bags for the baby babies. It's a toy in them for the baby babies. Then for the kids, we ain't got no candy bags. So, you know, I had to improvise. We put the candy in the cups, candy cups or whatever. Got the napkins. I left them wrapped up because it's kind of windy and I didn't want them to blow away. We got the utensils, fork, knives, spoons, plates, cakes. They setting up the food over there and we still doing what it does. Y'all, life of a pregnant person. So, party still going on and all that, but your girl needed to lay down. I needed a break. I was tired of sitting up, sitting straight up. My back was starting to hurt and I'm full like bloated full like I could eat some more but my stomach just feels like and my dress is a little too tight and here's a little secret between <laughs> me and y'all your girl low-key can't fit none of her clothes and your girl low-key high-key <laughs> not buying any new ones I already gotta find figure out how I'm gonna get rid of my birthday dress because when it's all said and done I ain't gonna be able to fit it and I'm upset because the dress is really cute. Like, I wish I would be able to wear it again, but I ain't going to be able to fit it. So, got to find out what I'm going to do with that. Y'all let me know. DM me. It is a size 12, I want to say. Uh, I'm gonna, It's an 8 or a 12. I don't know. I'll double check that. But if you're interested, let me know. And honestly, I, I may be able to fit the dress because, like, when I first ordered it, I was a lot smaller than I was on my birthday, and it was tight then, so I'm like, dang, I hope I don't grow too much within the next few weeks. But, I mean, it was still fine. Um, it was the upper area that was, I feel like their sizing is according to your bra size, because that's what was big. Granted, your girl is part of the itty bitty committee, but still. For it to have been as tight as it was around my stomach, you would have thought... The upper area would have been fine but whatever anyways um yeah so i came in the car to lay down i got <laughs> the seat laid back because yeah them the park benches wasn't doing it for me and i'm honestly tired tanya had me up since eight o'clock this morning eight o'clock this morning she's like kalaya, she, kalaya like literally wakes me out of my sleep girl with the baby in her in her belly and then she asked me if i was going with her because earlier she did some other running around she had to do and I was like, no, because I'm going to want to do my makeup for the day, too. And I had to do her makeup. So I'm like, while you're doing that, I'm going to do my makeup here. Because if I go with you and then come back and try to do mine and your makeup, I wasn't going to finish by the time she was ready to go. So, yeah, basically, I've been up since 8 o'clock this morning. Went to sleep at a, a little after 1 yesterday. Well, 1 in the morning. And 
been up and on the go ever since so i'm very tired i'm gonna sleep so well though because alicia got this new couch in the basement y'all y'all granted she paid four thousand dollars for it and i ain't paying no four thousand dollars for no couch but it's 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 worth it i'd say it's worth it definitely a netflix and chill kind of couch like that i gotta show you i showed my instagram i'm gonna show you when i get back to alicia's but i was just checking in with you guys um he ain't got no candles and it's not a cake it's cupcakes so i don't know if they're gonna sing happy birthday but if they do i'll definitely come back and show you all that you guys we have a package cash is always following me down the steps yes dog you went outside already uh-uh stay look what came y'all my sis got her crib and y'all wait till i tell y'all what this is but i'm gonna leave this out here because clearly it's a big box y'all saw them steps i just came down i'm not bringing these up nobody's steps and regardless i can't put it together anyways i'll tell y'all about that in a second y'all this is literally my life and literally how i look 90 percent of the time okay i'll be wanting to get cute and put some clothes on and get dressed up take some pictures record some videos i'll be wanting to be productive let me just say that but i just can't like when it's actually time to be productive i can't bring myself to do it like i'll be tired i don't feel good and i just want to lay down but anyways um that's today's plan hopefully to be productive especially since her crib came so i need to clear out a room in my room for her crib which i already know where i want it to go but i still have hella clothes that need to be put away y'all when i tell y'all i got mad clothes i was not playing but i am going to buy a second uh second dresser for the second room it's going to have the stuff that I can't fit in my dresser in the closet and some of her some of her stuff like baby clothes is mad small she she's gonna have the entire second bedroom's closet but you know like babies be having their little like she got so much stuff already I'm, I'm gonna show you in a second but what I think this is let me tell you right so let me turn the camera around too so the crib my cousin actually ordered it so they rang the doorbell and I went downstairs and they doing the whole ding dong ditch thing because they rang the bell, I opened the door, nobody was there but the package was on the side of the thing. So I text my cousin because I only saw the big box and I'm like, was the crib, because she, she bought both the crib and the mattress. So I'm like, was it part of the same order? Like, did you order from the same place? She's like, no, it's two separate deliveries, blah, blah, blah. She's like, what came? So I'm like, the crib. So then I guess she went back looking at her emails, things she ordered, blah, blah, blah. She, this girl goes, oh my God, I accidentally ordered the crib mattress cover, not the mattress. So I'm just like, sis, how you confuse the two? I'm like, I'm sure a mattress cover is like $30. How you confuse that with the price of a mattress? But turns out, so after she said that, I, I started looking up like mattresses for cribs and stuff. And they're actually not expensive at, at all. Like I thought they were a lot more expensive. But she wound up ordering. She said, I, I she just ordered the actual mattress. But she wants me to use the mattress cover too. And I think this is the mattress cover. Um... And when I had said that I can't put together the mattress, I mean the crib, y'all know I'm Miss Handy Mix, Miss Fix It, all that. So like I wouldn't mind, but of course I can't get it up the steps anyways. But if it was here, I definitely would have put it together. But my boyfriend being the great father to be, he wants to put it together. I'll probably help him, but knowing that he wants to put it together, I'll really probably just let him put it together. But I like putting things together. But he wants to do it so regardless i would have to wait for him to get off work um but let me open this and see what it is i wish this bathroom had well my bathroom don't have it either but like had a place i could sit y'all like right now y'all in the medicine cabinet listen my camera better not fall again y'all i'm really still butthurt about that granted it still works like nothing's fine what happened is very minor but it's it's the audacity for me yeah, my sis ordered a whole freaking mattress cover. She was like, all she saw was silly and ordered it. But granted, a mattress cover was on my on my registry anyway, so I'm gonna use it. My sis gonna be comfortable right in her in her crib. So y'all, I didn't even get to tell y'all, but if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all already know 
what happened so boom yesterday my bed for the second bedroom already came and as y'all can see it arrived broken yay how exciting all right now let me tell you how the story behind that move cash all right i had to sit down so boom let me tell you what happened so i was home yesterday when they delivered it and for this specific bed they don't do the whole ding dong ditch thing <laughs> you actually had to sign for it so ring my bell or whatever i go downstairs the guy he's like okay we just make sure he was home we're gonna bring it around blah 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 so he comes back at first it's just him with one box so i'm like oh is it just that box he's like no it's another one so he proceeds to try to push it in so i'm thinking they gonna come upstairs mind y'all y'all saw them steps i just went down to go show y'all the crib mad steps i'm with child yeah so he proceeds to try to push the box through the door so i'm like oh you can just leave it at the top of the steps so then he's like oh we can't come inside all right, so if you can't come inside and you're not gonna leave it at the top of the steps, where would you put in these two big boxes? Like the walkway downstairs, I'll show y'all when I get up, but that walkway is literally the size of a of the door. You was not, unless you was pushing it up the steps, you wasn't pushing that box into the walkway. Like I wouldn't have been able to close the door. I don't know if it's making sense to y'all, but just long story short, what are you doing? So then I'm like, he's like, oh yeah, we can't come inside because of the whole virus, blah, blah, blah. Granted, okay, understandable, I guess. So I'm like, all right, so leave it on the side of the door. Like, what are you doing? So he leaves it there. It's two boxes. I had to sign for it, blah, blah, blah. So granted, again, big boxes, a lot of steps. I was not bringing it up steps. I was not trying to bring it up steps. So I had to wait for my boyfriend to get off work. So he gets off work and he slid it up the steps, which he even still said was a task in its own. So we begin unboxing in the bed and then I came across that broken piece which I was so butthurt about like I wasn't sad I was irritated I was annoyed the pregnant in me wanted to cry but mama ain't raised no you know she, she ain't raised that so I I was just irritated so I just got out the shower washed my hair deep conditioned then got back in the shower to rinse out the deep conditioner because I prefer to apply my leave-in while I'm still in the shower. And y'all, I actually grabbed the wrong leave-in. So if y'all was wondering, I put in some generic brand leave-in. I was using this while my hair was still short. And I mean, it was doing what it was doing. I don't know if I, because I was freshly natural, so the curls was really coming through. So I felt like it was really, really doing something or if this really works. But I got this from a dollar store called Lot Less in New York. I don't know if they have them in other, in other states. New Nat. It looks like a, a off-brand um, Garnier. It's called NAAT Garlic. It's a leave-in conditioner with garlic. I don't know. Um, but I, today I was doing a wash and go on Instagram as I said and I wanted to give the curls line another chance because the first time I used it was for my twist out. It wasn't for a wash and go. So off rip I knew I didn't like their shampoo so I wasn't going to use their shampoo. But this is what I grabbed thinking it was the leave-in conditioner and I was already in the shower and yeah my hair products are in the other bathroom. So I had to this um, conditioner was in the shower. So, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't use the curls leave-in conditioner. But I'm about to do a quick little wash and go for the gram. I just wanted to come on. I'll show y'all my hair really quickly. This is what she's looking like. Freshly washed with some leave-in or whatever. Like I said, every time y'all see my hair, who bald-headed, okay? If you're new to my channel, y'all probably don't even know. But last year, um, January, I shaved my head. I was bald what 16 months 18 months ago wow it's been a year and a half it's been a year and seven months so yeah i was bald headed how many months 19 months ago i think a year and i was bald last january okay january 2019 i shaved my head or whatever so this is the new new growth that i have a little lump check for y'all the front is this long the back comes down here my shrinkage is real y'all but yeah by the time y'all see in this vlog if y'all watch it as soon as it goes up my little wash and go should still be on my instagram story so y'all can go check that out and follow me while you're at it um and yeah this is the final product of my hair um 
Fun fact, newsflash, I actually never like when I do my wash and goes. I honestly can't remember who I was talking to, whether it was y'all or Instagram, but this is my third wash and go ever. Been natural since, well, shaved my head completely January 11th, 2019. So going on two years. Um, I only do wash and goes for when I do my puffs. When I put them up, my curls will be popping and defined in my puff. I never wear my natural, I never wear my wash and go and go, okay? I just do it for the purposes of my puff, which I will be doing tomorrow. Um, My hair is not all the way dry yet, but when it does, the white stuff will go away. I diffused it for as long as I could before I got tired, which was about two minutes. So um, this is what I'm left with. Again, y'all can go catch that on my Instagram story to know what products I use. But I gave the curls line another chance, y'all, and I'm just not feeling it. Like that gel did not do it for me. The definition is not there so i will not be using it again um but yeah hopefully this dries by the time i'm ready to go to sleep but yeah we're about to put the crib together because why not mind y'all i still ain't even make room in there for it but i'm about to go do that right now you guys so i should have came on and said what time we started but this is the progress so far and there's more crib than this like i'm looking at this y'all the vision i had for the room this crib is stupid big so i wanted it to fit on this wall it's already like even when we push it over it's probably just the size of this wall but it's a whole nother side of the crib that's gonna have drawers and um a diaper changing table that's cash's bone by the way ignore that but yeah this crib is mad big so i don't know i might have we might have to change the room around what you thinking in front of the window i thought of that but like the window be bringing in so much natural light and like this little light don't be doing nothing and then like where because like the way when you got your dresser i envisioned your dresser going over there and the crib being on this side and then the tv on the wall if we turn the bed around we can turn the crib around too but then like where would the tv go on this wall it would like if we put the tv on this wall it wouldn't be centered to the bed if, when the bed's by the mirror i mean by the window so this is the final product of the crib and y'all this was it wasn't an all-day process but it was a very lengthy process i posted on my store when we first started it's now 11 30 at night y'all um i posted on my story when we first started and that was four hours ago y'all granted we did stop to eat but that was only for maybe like 30 minutes but yes i love it i cannot wait so again my cousin she had to order the actual mattress because she ordered a mattress cover instead and it does come off the wall right here but it's not that much so it's not that bad so i don't think i'm gonna go about rearranging the entire room however the bed space is like no room well it's room but i thought it was going to be more and initially so boom the crib is on this side of the room rather than the other side of the room because the ac is on the other side of the room and it would come directly down onto the crib if i moved the crib over there and i didn't want the ac i didn't want her to be right under the ac so I switched like I used to sleep on the other side of the bed but I completely switched to this side of the bed because also when um she actually gets here and her bassinet's here I was gonna put the bassinet right here granted while we're asleep the bassinet would fit here but it would really really be no room so what I think I'm gonna do like okay that's the AC I was talking about I think I might and it's kind of the same amount of space that was over here over there I mean, 
I don't know, I may switch back to sleeping on that side of the bed and have her bassinet on that side of the bed so it's not too cluttered over here. I may move the bed entirely to that side of the wall and then it'll just be hella space over here. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I actually have to clean up in here but that's gonna be tomorrow's task. So yeah, I also put my hair up y'all. Tomorrow's gonna be slicker and cuter but I just put it up to get it out of my face for now. But yeah, cleaning up in there is going to be tomorrow's task. But I'm actually cleaning up out here. I don't know what it is, y'all. Well, I kind of know what it is because one of my apps told me. But apparently, pregnant women have this thing called nesting where they just feel the urge to clean. And my urge to clean comes at night. Like, at night, I have more energy to do things than I do during the day. So that's what I'm doing right now. I was just in the kitchen. Um, putting dishes in the dishwasher, all that good stuff. But it is really late, like I said. I probably won't be going to sleep anytime soon. But I'm going to actually go ahead and end the vlog here because I do have to finish editing so we can go up tomorrow. It's already a day late because today's for I don't really have a schedule. And somebody had asked me that too. She asked, like on YouTube, I had said that my posting schedule was Sunday and wednesday i want to say but if y'all been catching the drift i kind of been posting on monday wednesday fridays it's not intentionally but it wasn't unintentionally like this week i didn't post today well it's today Friday. yeah i didn't post today being friday and my last video probably went up on like tuesday i don't remember but you would think that um monday wednesday and friday was my new posting schedule but if you haven't already make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did give this video a thumbs up already before you even finished it you a real one if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys